Hello everybody, E here. Today we are talking about Joe Hill's third book, his second novel, Horns. Um, for up until Nosferatu, or NOS 4A2, this was my favorite Joe Hill book. Um, the, there was something about this one. This is the last book of his that I read before I found out that he was Stephen King's son. Um, I was a fan starting off with 20th Century Ghosts. This one crunk it up to a whole another level for me. Um, and had I had the weirdest sense of deja vu while reading this book. Um, it is also the last book that Joe Hill wrote that does not feel that that he doesn't copy his father or try to uh, extend his legacy. I'm going to talk about that more in a second, but first I'm going to talk about the review. Um, this was one of the coolest concepts I've ever heard of. I mean, the dude, with Ignatius uh, Parrish, they call him Ig, he wakes up one morning with devil horns. Um, and he has these abilities, and <laughs> the comedy in this one is hilarious. There, there's some there's some horror stuff in there, but this isn't a horror novel. This is a, li this is a piece of literary fiction, um, and it it's very reminiscent of Stephen King, and that's why I say I had a, this a feeling of deja vu while I was reading it. I was like, this dude's as good as Stephen King. And it was probably maybe two months after I finished it that I found out, and I was like, yeah, okay, makes sense. Um, anywho, so on to what I want to talk about here, and it's not necessarily a good thing. Um, Stephen King is Stephen King. Just like Clive Barker is Clive Barker, Peter Straub is Peter Straub, Robert McCammon is Robert McCammon. They have their own signature style, their own signature voice. Joe Hill does not. Um, he sounds, he, he writes just like his father. Um, he has, I, I think he has a more out there imagination. Now I know Stephen King can get crazy um, from time to time, like the ending of Needful Things. I, all of the Tommyknockers is just wild from the, from the jump. The problem is he sounds too much like dad. He he has not he has not come into his own and I thought we were going to get there after this one with Nosferatu. Unfortunately, with that one and we'll talk about that mo more when we get there, it feels like Joe is now writing his father's coattails, which is extremely sad because he started off his own man. I think that's what bothers me the most. This is a terrific book, five out of five stars, but it does feel like a Stephen King novel. Um, the problem that I have is he worked so hard, so hard for three books, his short story collection, 20th Century Ghosts, um, and then uh, Heart Shaped Box, and then Horns. He worked so hard. He, he used a, a pen name to try and get away from his dad. And then all of a sudden, he just as soon as it was out of the bag, he just threw all that away, and he mentions some of his dad's work in uh, NOS 4A2, Nosferatu, whatever. Um, and then they they went on. I mean, in Doctor Sleep, even Stephen King harkens back to uh, let's see, your heart shaped box because he mentions Judas Coin. But I was disappointed to find out that he was not going to continue on, and now he is in full blown inheritance mode. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? That's my opinion on the situation. Um, this is this is not the last book from Joe Hill that I enjoyed. Uh, we'll talk about that more in the next video. Um, but what did you guys think of Horns? Uh, did you did you like the movie? I like I like the movie. I I really like the movie. Then again, I like Daniel Radcliffe. Um, let me know what you thought of Joe Hill's Horns down there in the comments below. And until next time, I have been E. You've been you. This has been another Joe Hill review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.